Well, it's moving day, and it is pouring down. It's raining on the homestead. Well, today's the day we're going to quit staying in the camper and we're going to be moving over into the house. Um, we're going to go into the bedroom. We're going to put some stuff in there. Uh, we've actually, me and, and Hope and Hadley, been staying in here the last couple of nights. Brandy and Hayden will stay in the camper, but we're going to try to transition all the way over here um, and we'll show you guys that. But I think I want to show you all the pond. Um, we've been getting a lot of rain here lately and I want to take you guys down there and let's see how full the pond is if it's holding any water and then we'll come back and uh, we'll show you the bedroom and us moving in and all that enjoy today's video if you do smash that like button if you're not subscribed what should they do Hadley please subscribe she said so let's go down to the pond we'll jump on the range we'll go down to the pond well it's filling up looky there So they were calling for a flood today, but it has like let off and it's kind of missed us a little bit, but we have got quite a bit of water in the pond and I'm starting to see where it's, it's gonna fill up to. It's gonna be, I bet once it fills up, it's gonna be a good four foot deep, but I don't know if we will get enough rain to get it to fill up. And I need to come over there still and get that. I haven't got over here to get that yet, I need to. There's the pond update. Keep getting questions about the pond, how, Full is it? Has it the rain um, actually stayed in there? And um, it is. I think it's sealing up. So time will tell. Let's go back up to the house and uh, let's get moving into the bedroom. Um, we already got a few things in there. We're gonna move around. I bought some rugs and some other stuff uh, that we need to get laid down and make it more like homey. So let's go back up to the house. Okay, so let me show you the room that we are moving into. The master bedroom. We don't have it completely finished, but we have it mud and taped one time and what we decided to do is wait until we do the whole house to go ahead and finish this just so we can get in here quicker um, i still have some outlets and stuff i need to hook up and do all that but for the most part we're ready to stay in here we've already stayed a couple nights in the big area of the house and now we're moving into this spot and um, we've already got some dressers and stuff i'll show you what we got going on i'm gonna put some rugs down and kind of go from there so here you go this is what we got in here so far i'm actually going to take these lights back at this bottom or a couple of them may burn out but um we got the TV set up, my editing station. So we got a dresser here, then a dresser here. And then we have the actually air conditioner that we've been running here in this room. We got the EcoFlow Wave and the EcoFlow Wave add-on battery, which is underneath there. So today's video is actually sponsored by EcoFlow and we can't appreciate them enough. Uh, not only for sending us um, this battery bank we've been using for months over here. Air conditioner just kicked on. <laughs> I didn't think I touched it. Um, it just kicked on this thing has been working awesome I'm gonna show you a little bit of I'm gonna show you a little bit of unboxing it when we first got it and then when you're when I'm done with that we'll come back and we'll go over it a little bit more and tell you the experience we've had over the last week 10 days or so of using this um, so yeah almost two weeks I think of using this we'll discuss what we have figured out about it EcoFlow creates eco-friendly power solutions that allow you to have power in any location no matter how remote. Founded by leading creators in the drone industry, EcoFlow makes lightweight portable power stations that can be used uh, for home backup. Outdoor ventures add on the job needs. EcoFlow portable power stations are thoughtful and designed and deliver a smart and powerful energy storage products. Along with the EcoFlow Wave air conditioner that is now portable and you can take on all recreational uses and indoor housing uses. So I just read the manual on this. And um, this one doesn't have the battery pack that you can get. I think you just plug this in. And I have the generator running now, so we have power. But you can hook up all the eco flows and things that you got to this to make it portable for like camping and things like that. So let's plug it in. Now I know it's not going to cool the room down right now. I'm just, I'm just playing with it. We just got it in the mail, and I just want to mess with it. kicked on that actually feels awesome 
So there's different scenarios you could use this in as far as like tents and RVs. Um, I'm gonna try to use it in this bedroom once we get it all sheetrocked in and insulated to see if it will really keep this room at a cool temperature. Okay, you see me unbox it. I was so excited to get this thing. It's awesome. Um, it's a portable air conditioner and they sent the battery bank separate, but I'm gonna show that to you guys. With the battery bank and the other EcoFlow, I think this is EcoFlow Max, I'm not real, I can't remember exactly. I will get, you can get up to like seven to eight hours runtime, legit runtime with your air conditioner. And uh, we've been running this pretty much nonstop, as hot as it's been here lately. Today's a cooler day because it's raining outside, um, but we've been running it nonstop. So the room was typically about 82, 83-ish, and the EcoFlow, this would actually get it down about 72, 71, around, around that range. And that's without having any insulation in the ceiling or having an actual door on here. So I was super impressed with it. Um, let's go over some specs real quick, and then we'll talk about what I figured out about that you will have to do, um, especially if you live in a high humidity area like myself and some other things. Okay, the EcoFlow Wave. Uh, this product can be powered by solar energy and if the battery is connected when the product is on standby mode, it can charge up to a rate of 200 watts. This has a solar card charging input port, an AC import, and an add-on battery port. And also you can hook up your um, EcoFlow uh, Max and get, and get extended power to run the AC. Okay, so what I wanna show you guys right now, I'm actually gonna unhook uh, I'm going to plug everything, unhook the actual battery itself and show you guys the, the battery because this can be used, um, you can plug it in your house or you can get the battery here and go off grid with it like we are here. Um, you can use it camping, RVing, um, in your car, things like that. You can actually use this um, with this extra battery now. So you guys see me unboxing it and you know, super excited for that. Um, I've learned a lot over the last couple of weeks using this thing. Um, this battery right here is awesome. So if you don't have, if you want to order this, you got to pre-order it. These are brand new products. Um, people are just now testing them out, like myself, um, a select few. And um, so far, well, I found out about this. This is a good portable air conditioner, but I think it would be really awesome to take it like outdoor camping in your RV, things like that. Uh, for a room this size, not fully insulated, it cools it down really well. Um, like I said, it was between 80 and 82. It would get it down between 70, 72. So it would drop it 10 degrees, and that's with no um, ceiling insulation or a door. How awesome is that? So um, it works really well. And we've got, and I've completely tested this with both back with this battery and with the EcoFlow uh, Max. We're getting up close to seven to eight hours actually run time um, with the full AC going, and I'm having this thing down like 64 degrees, and um, it lasts a long time. I actually has some sensors on here and I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, tells you how long your battery will last um, with both these hooked up or even with one of these. So it just plugs in down here at the bottom. Has a little couple little buttons you push. Pops off just like that. And this, this is the actual battery that you can get that goes underneath the air conditioner and will run it by itself um, for a few hours. So let me hook it, I'll hook it back up and show you. I'll unplug the Eco Max and I'll show you guys just how much time it actually runs. 77 hours, what? Yeah, right, I wish. So the compressor's kicking on, time's dropping. Let's see what it'll get down to. At four hours, 4.6 hours. How awesome is that? Okay, so the battery life is pretty impressive for what it is. Um, now let me tell you some things about it that you may not know. I read the manual on it a couple times and at first I thought you can just set this in a room and it just self-contains itself, but you have to put, in Oklahoma, because of high humidity, so in places that you may live that's not high humidity, you actually doesn't call to drain this from what I read because something, um, when it produces the, the water inside there, it somehow pushes it back onto the hot coils and it actually evaporates. But in Oklahoma, we have really high humidity, um, so there's no way around it. I had to put the drain tube in um, to catch the water. All I did, literally all I did is put the drain tube in and put it down here in a gallon water jug I had, and um, it just, and when it would get full or halfway full, whatever, I'd dump it. And then the exhaust, because it blows out hot air, I just have it <laughs> venting right in here, right out there, so all the hot air goes out. So what I'm gonna end up doing is putting a table over here or something and putting it up and I can actually vent that outside and with the drain tube, just put it all outside 
um, contains it out there. But in a tent, this would be really, really convenient, like if you're camping, um, because you could put the unit inside and put the drain tube and all that on the outside of the tent, and that night you just have that blowing full blown on you. If you ever camped here in Oklahoma in the hot summer, July, August, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. An AC would be a lifesaver at times and make your trip way, way more enjoyable, no doubt about it. Um, but overall, this is a really cool product. Um, like I wish I had it when I was camping with the girls last year and year before last. Um, but right now it's come in really handy in our home build, um, being able to cool down this room um, well over 10 degrees or so. Um, and I need to put some insulation up there in the ceiling and try it again and see how long or see how cold I can actually get it. I'm guessing I can actually get it down to temperature what I got it set on um, when, it, when I actually insulate it. So yeah, overall, I'm really excited to have this product. If you guys are interested in this product whatsoever, I will put links down below in the description box and a pinned comment. Um, you guys can click it, check it out, get a pre-order if this is what you're uh, wanting. Now you don't have to get the battery bank with it, but if you're wanting to use it recreational outside and stuff like that, like camping and all that, um, I would recommend getting the um, battery with it. It just gives you that much uh, more um, options. That gives you that many more options to go places if it's really, really hot. At least it'll cool you down for a few hours. And just with the fan mode on it, just having a fan while you're camping could be a lifesaver also. So think about that. It's, every, it's everything that I expected out of a um, portable air conditioner other than the fact that it has a battery with it and you put more batteries up to it so it's kind of like the possibility is kind of endless with where you can take this to cool yourself down with that being said thank you ecoflow for sponsoring today's video and our house build and thank you guys for watching today's video and supporting us that way we could not do this without sponsorships and without you all awesome folk watching us um, so with that being said now Hadley and I are going to put the new rugs down I got some outdoor indoor outdoor rugs that we're going to put down and then we're going to bring the cots in here and uh, we're going to start staying here full time how exciting is that okay Hadley you ready to put some carpet down some rugs so we bought a couple outdoor indoor rugs we're going to put in here that's going to be better on us walking around so our feet aren't getting so dirty and then we'll bring the cots in and then kind of go from there I'll just do one at a time Ed. Kylie, are you excited about being in here? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You got it? Here's that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got that. Let's put one. Wow, these are pretty big. I think where we want it exactly. <coughs> I might need to get one more. Can you pick here? Let's move this over. Can you pick that up? Or is it too heavy for you? For that? Yeah. No. That side? Oh yeah, you got it. Keep going. Oh yeah. Oh, she's strong. Keep going. Keep going, Ellie. Keep going. Right there, Ellie. Right there. I didn't realize you're so strong, Ellie. Will you grab that trash? Yeah. Oh. Did you know you were that strong? No. Ellie the strong. You got it. Oh, it's almost good. Go that side. We'll put it right here beside this one. It's overlapping a little bit. So we have the cot. So what we're doing is we're waiting on a mattress to get in before we put the whole king size bed in here. So right now we're gonna stay on a futon and a couple of cots and, um, and the mattress should be here next week sometime so then we can get the whole bed in here and actually have a king size bed. Then we're gonna go get 
um, Hadley's bed or, or Hope's bed or Hayes' bed, we don't know yet. And we'll have two big beds in here and that way there'll be plenty of room and closets and all that. Um, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Hey, you wanna grab that again? Sure. We'll bring it back this way. So this is cool. My nephew gave me this futon and um, we'll use it for the time being and we can actually use it as a seating area too to watch TV and stuff. Here. Got it. Okay, so let's bring the cot in. We'll bring my cot in. We got the sleeping bag and stuff on it. You got it? You're so strong. Okay, so Hallie and I got the room set up. What do you think, Hallie? Oh, your little baby? She got her baby from storage today. Um, this is this is a lot better than the camper, don't you think, Hallie? What's your What's your opinion? Um, the camper's small. The house is big. This This room's big though, too, isn't it? Um, so like, the, so the eco flow. I showed you guys it on the ground like that. I've been stacking it like that to get it up off the ground. It helps. It helps with the drain and all that too. So this is a setup. Welcome to our crib, you might say. Um, we got the TV hooked up with Wi-Fi. Got a couple of the chairs in here. This is where I'm going to be editing this video that you guys are watching. Um, so I'll edit and go watch some shows and do things like that. And we put some curtains up last night. You see the mess we got back there. This construction zone. So we put the curtains up and it actually gets pretty dark in here. Hallie's just chilling. Just chilling like a villain, huh, Hadley? Lily's liking it. We may end up getting like one more of these rugs to go this way. So we'll have the rug all the way through here. And I gotta stop walking on it with the boots. Hadley, Hope, and I are officially moved out of the camper. Brandy and Hayden are gonna come over here. As soon as we get our mattress in, they're literally like 50 feet away, but uh, they come out and hang out at nighttime. They go there and sleep and then all that. Um, so this has been like, this actually, um, I don't stress out a lot, but whenever my family starts stressing out, then it becomes like, all right, we gotta do something. And it was becoming where people were tired of living in the camper. So what are we gonna do? What can we do to change the situation? Well, I talked to Brandy and we both decided, yes, we can finish this room out like it is now, stay in it while we build the rest of the house out, and it's gonna be way better on the family. And so far it has, like we've been here for like two days already, camping out in there and then come now moving into here it's just gonna be awesome i'm excited you could tell um it's just, like i said in the last video it's just the little things um, we got the water hooked up in there and um, i don't know it's just awesome so i can't wait to get the whole house done and um, have all our own living space so let me come let me go walk over here and show you what we got planned so the plan is we're going to be working on this bathroom we will this bathroom this the plan is we're going to be working on this bathroom finishing this bathroom out we'll have one full bedroom um, this bathroom done and then then we'll start working on the rest of the house like we'll be doing all the sheetrock all the wiring everything um, so the plan is right now is i'm going to do all the wiring to that bathroom all the plumbing everything like that to get it ready to sheetrock and then we can work on the shower the toilets everything we want to get that completely done and then we start wiring the whole house, do the rest of the plumbing and all that. That makes sense. So I actually hooked up a sink in here. Pretty fancy, huh? So that is, so you guys are caught up with us on our living situation. 
Um, I keep, I'll, I'll answer a few questions while I got you guys here. I keep getting questions on how are we going to run the whole house um, are we, with the gas prices being so high? Um, how can we afford to run on the generator? Well, we're doing it sparingly um, and we're using all our um, battery banks that you guys probably seen in the bedroom. There's like three or four in the bedroom that we're using right now. Um, we're using that to charge, we're using the generator to charge those. And then we can turn the generator off and those last like all day and all night and charge them again. Don't take a whole lot, some of them charge really fast. And, um, and then another question is, when are we gonna get the masonry heater in? Um, we were supposed to have it installed already, but they're working on a new product for the masonry heater. And we weren't, we're gonna be the first ones that get it, so they're perfecting it. And there's really no rush, like until it starts getting cold here, um, to get it. So we're hoping within the next month, month and a half, we'll get it installed. They'll get that product um, complete and how they like it, a uh, product that they can send out to you guys. Cause I know once you guys see this masonry heater, in our house you're going to want one and some of you guys may be waiting to to decide do you want to go ahead and get a wood stove or do you want to get a masonry heater um, because you're waiting for us i'm telling you to do some research on them we went up and toured the place and, and looked how it was made and just talked to them and i've been watching videos and stuff the masonry heater seems like an awesome product that's why we're putting it in our house um, we we believe in it we don't have one we wouldn't seen one that they actually built um, they just got done with went into it and it's got a little cooker on it that's what we're gonna have it's good it's gonna be awesome um, so yeah we're hoping within the next month month and a half we'll see um, we're trying they're trying to get that product done completely perfect for us um, and then what's another one when are we moving out of the camper when are you moving into your house we are right now you guys seen it so that answers that and another one is when is your whole house going to be done um, we have no clue you guys see what we're doing here you guys see how quick we work and that has to do with funds and all that stuff so you guys get it um if we if we wouldn't took a mortgage out and just hired a crew we would have been in, we've been in here six months ago um, but we got away from that when we sold our farmhouse and moved out here you guys know that if, if you've been around you know the story um, so that's why that's why it's taking longer than normal um, our last house that i self-contracted it literally took seven months and we were moved in um, the pole barn that we built um, we self-contracted some and built a lot of it that took us a year so um, and we're coming up on a year in july from when we moved out here and we didn't even I, I gotta look back when we actually broke ground on this is when we got the septic and all that but it's come up on it's probably at least a good 10 11 months um, since we actually started the build process so i know friends i know friends and family that are doing what we're doing i know people who on youtube are doing it and they've been doing it going on four years and still not completely done. And I know some some that just got done with their house been two, three years. I mean, it's not a race. It's not a race. How fast can we get this done? How fast can we get out of the camper and, and get in all that? Well, we're out of the camper now. We're gonna be, uh, for the most part, done when it gets done, I guess, type of deal. And I um, yeah, hope you guys hope you guys fo keep following us along on this journey and learning with us and learn from our mistakes and things like that. If this is something you guys are wanting to do um, off grid and all that, don't let don't let our experience be discouragement if that's what you're wanting to do um if anything i hope i hope that we come across to you guys in a blessing way in an, and in an encourage, encouraging way that you guys can do this too um, anything that i ever say or do i, I, I don't want it to be discouragement to you because um, you guys may have a dream to do this also and just do it it's all it's all advice i got for you just go out and do it you can do it you can do the homesteading the off-grid all this stuff you, if we can do it you guys can too so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for whatever else we got next. There'll be probably something, something on the house or it'll be somewhere on the homestead or something. But we appreciate each and every one of you guys and uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.